Okay, 18 to 21. This is like the third time going on this because I keep stopping it or not finishing the recording on it here. So on 18 and 21 and 27, I asked you to, or 22, I asked you to find the standard deviation, the mean of standard deviation, and interpret the mean. Uh, so the mean is just the weighted average or the expected value. So what we expect in the long run, the result. So it's the value times the standard deviation. And you just add them all up. Okay, so it's 2.5 uh, activities. And then interpret it. On average, the number of activities a parent is involved in is approximately 2.519 or 2.5. Okay? And the standard deviation is how spread out is my data. Well, that's given by the sum of my data minus the mean squared times the probability of x of it happening. So it's 0 minus the mean squared times the probability plus 1 minus the mean squared times the probability. 2 minus the mean squared. It's just like normal standard deviation calculations and if you do that you get 1.2 gain or activities. Okay, so there is 18. 21 is similar. Um, that would be the World Series from 1923 to 2010. There's 87 games or series played. And here's the data right here in the table. And I went ahead and converted to percents out of 87. And so the World Series plays four out of seven games. And so some series are finished in four, some five, six, or seven. Okay, so find the expected number of games. So it's four times the probability of it happening, five times the probability, and so forth. So you get 5.8 games on average. The World Series lasts 5.8 games. Okay, so there's my interpretation of it. And the standard deviation is four minus the average squared times the probability of it happening. Right? 0.195 is the probability of four games. 5 minus 5.8 times 0.207. And then the other, I got two more over here. Here's my formula. I wrote that a second just in case you forgot. And if you do this calculation, it's 1.1 games. All right, there you have that. And I did not write down number 22. Um, oh, yeah, I did. It's right here. What am I thinking? It's the same um, calculation. Uh, you just got to figure out the total number here and then find the percentages. And then here's the average, the expected value, and the standard deviation. And so this is the number of children that a random sample of 900 adults has. So the interpretation here would be on average. The number of children um, a family has. is approximately 2.4. Where do you think that? You've heard that before. You have 2.5 kids as average family size. Well, this is where it comes from. Oops, kids. Okay, there you go on those. All right, let's um, go on to 27. We've got a life insurance company sells 250000 one year. Actually, you know what? Let's stop there, and we'll do that this on the next video.